I recently saw this tweet from Alexis Sahanian and I can't get it out of my head. The not so secret secret to Costco's success, Kirkland Signature, its private label brand. See, in 2021, Kirkland Signature brought in more than $59 billion in sales. That's about one quarter of Costco's overall revenue. And based on those numbers, Kirkland Signature is America's biggest consumer packaged goods brand when measured by sales. See, it's not only larger than Nike, but also McDonald's, Hershey, Campbell's Soup, and Kellogg's. So what exactly is the secret to Kirkland Signature's success? Well, honestly, it has a lot to do with the hundreds of millions of shoppers just like me. Kirkland Signature is known for two things that I think we can all get behind, low prices and good quality. Costco develops its own products under Kirkland Signature to compete with household names at a lower price. But some, not all of these products are made by the same manufacturers behind some of your favorite name brands. Costco name brand. Hit me. The name brand Kirkland. Um, oh my god. Name brand Costco. This is Kirkland, and this is name brand. Like so many American things, Costco and Kirkland point back to Europe. See, the idea for Costco came to Jeff Brotman, who cold called another retail chain owner, Jim Senegal, after a trip to France during which he was introduced to the wholesale retail model. They opened Costco and quickly saw success. It went from zero to three billion dollars in sales in less than six years. So they began expanding. And as part of that expansion, they went from selling exclusively to businesses and opened up their membership program to people en masse. And during this time, they also decided to merge Costco with Price Club. And soon after, Senegal once again looked to Europe for inspiration and introduced private label products to Costco's shelves. When we started, we were all brand name products. We didn't care any, uh, any off brands, didn't care any private label. Costco stepped into this space, setting the criteria that they would develop products that were as good or better than national brands, with the ultimate goal of saving their customers at least 15 to 20% off of what a national brand would typically cost. And they were able to do this by partnering with the same manufacturers behind more premium name brands and buying in bulk. They soon began selling over 30 private label brands. But there was a problem. See, a lot of these names were forgettable and Senegal was troubled by a lack of brand loyalty. Almost every single class of product had a different name. So the company's attorneys would end up spending so much time trying to clear all of these Costco brand names in different countries. And it just was not worth it. So in 1995, Costco launched Kirkland Signature as an umbrella for all of its private label brands. And it was named for the location of Costco's then corporate headquarters in Kirkland, Washington. Now, Costco isn't the only brand with a singular private label, but they're clearly one of the more successful ones. That's because it uses its bargaining power to negotiate lower prices and demand higher quality from its suppliers. At Costco, no branded item can be marked up by more than 14%, and no private item by more than 15%. In contrast, supermarkets generally mark up merchandise by 25% and department stores by 50% or more. So if Costco pays $100 for something, it sells it for around $115. That same item would go for around 125 or more at a supermarket or department store. See, Costco really hacked the system and cornered out this market space with Kirkland Signature. And name brand retailers are lining up to be a part of Kirkland despite the lower margins. Why is that? Well, it's all about volume. Competitors agree to these deals with Costco because Costco has an incredible reach through its membership program. The retailer distributes on a larger scale than any other business in this country. In 2022, just under 120 million people had a Costco membership. That's about one third of the US population. So these retailers can't afford to not be on Costco shelves in one way or another. Now, as a matter of fact, it's profitable for these products to be on Costco shelves no matter what. Manufacturers are able to get their products in front of an audience as large as a country by being in Costco. That itself makes switching out a name brand for the black, red, and white label and packaging worth it. Being in Costco, under Kirkland Signature or otherwise, guarantees manufacturers and other retailers access to millions of potential customers who are already loyal and willing to pay an upfront cost just to get in the door. In 2022, Costco's membership renewal rate reached about 93% in the United States and Canada. Now, if that is not the ultimate indicator of how committed people are to Costco and Kirkland Signature, I don't know what is. Costco also reported it grew the Kirkland Signature's market share by 1% 
percent between 2021 and 2022. And it's not the only grocer seeing an uptick in shoppers choosing private brands over national or name brands. See, one study actually found that 41% of consumers have bought more private brands since before the pandemic. And it's not just because they're less expensive. Shoppers are also considering factors including quality, sustainability, and so much more. They're also increasingly seeing private label brands like Kirkland Signature as on par with big name brands. And that's in part because retailers are stepping up the quality and selections of their store brand products by honing in on some of the attributes that draw consumers to national brands. I'm Naula, a video producer at Morning Brew. Tell us about your preferred store brand in the comments and don't forget to subscribe to Morning Brew's YouTube channel for more videos.